Hey folks, welcome to this video where I want to give you a very brief, very basic understanding of what you can do with this really cool platform called SketchUp. If you don't want to do the building blocks project physically, like using your hands or cardboard or good old fashioned scissors, you don't have to. You can instead turn the same project in virtually as long as your businesses look very similar to what students are building in real life around you. So if you're doing the virtual option, this is a platform you can use. Um, I want to show you what you could possibly do with it if you spend a little more time on it because you can turn in some really awesome things. And so I've had a few students, I usually get a few every semester that really love working with SketchUp. And so they just have a lot of fun playing around with it, seeing what you can do. And I want to show you a few examples that I've gotten in the past. So in a few of these different examples, you can see you're going to see some companies that you're already familiar with. This is the same project that you're working on using your hands if you decide to do the physical scale model. In this example, she did an Apple store. She also did a KFC and a farmer's market. And I, I thought it was really funny because she actually added a chicken coop on top of the KFC um, just to say like they get it sourced directly to them. Um, this student was like, oh, I'm actually going to use Google Maps. It's like my foundation. So he went to Google Maps, found an image that looks like an area that he would want to redevelop, and then actually built his buildings on top of a real life, um, excuse me, um, area using the tech, the software you see around, you can see that he kind of was building his fourth building and then went from there. But you can also use Google Maps. You could build your own backgrounds and foundations. You could do your basic kind of look. This is a look where they were just like, yeah, we just thought it'd be awesome kind of paint it all white. But they even added in like a little lap pool so people could have something visually pleasing to see if they were walking by the Amazon, Farmer's Market, Texas Roadhouse, or Kroger business places. In this example, you can even see that they added a, a handicap parking spot. They also had a few different examples of companies that they built. They even added different textures and also some shrubs or shrubbery, I should say. But you can also see that the traffic flow would be regulated not only in the parking lot, but also by these arrows. So if you're trying to leave, you would leave out the other way. Um, this example they spent a lot of time doing this, but they built like a Kroger. They built a few other companies that you would see around uh, your local community. They even had a statue over here that I thought was kind of cool, but they even went to the trouble of with their version of KSC. They even uh, made the roof kind of dirty with like generators that you would see on top of the building. So I thought that that was kind of amusing. They even have like a little event going on over here where a bunch of people are kind of congregating. And just in a zoom in, you can see that they added like smaller people. They had real traffic lanes. You could see where people would park. You could they even have a, a, a parking light a parking lot light just to help people see when, whenever they were traveling to and from with groceries uh they even had what the the a real life depiction of kroger a few other examples here just to sh still show you what you can do with this you can make this platform as unique as you want it to be if you have any creative ideas i am sure that there's a tutorial somewhere out there that you can use to really develop projects that look like that. Or if you wanna just do the basic uh, examples, I'll show you how to do the very, very minimum uh, in terms of how to manipulate the software so that way you can get, you have a good idea of how to start using SketchUp without feeling overwhelmed, okay? So the very first thing that I want you to do is open up a new tab, go to sketchup.com, it's SketchUp but with an S in front, hit try SketchUp, and you're gonna hit primary and secondary when it pops up, it's going to hit, say, get started. You're going to say you're a student. It may ask you to, for like your name and other information about your high school. You can ignore that, make some stuff up. You don't have to actually put your name in. It's going to take a second for the software to kind of load. Don't worry, it's not going to do anything to your Chromebook. But what you're going to do is when you first get in here, it's going to show you, oh, hey, you can create a new project. I've already created this in the past from playing around with the software. So I'm just going to hit on an existing file. And as it pulls up, it's going to look kind of wonky. And as you play around with it, you're going to be like, what am I looking at? So this is a real software or a real platform that people in the real world, like architects, urban planners use all the time to present their ideas for projects where they want to redevelop an area. You're going to use it just for the purpose of this project, but I will say that in order to make this software happen, you need three 
dimensions, right? To make it 3D, you have to have your Y axis, your X axis, and then if you've never heard about it, a Z axis, which is what allows the software to make your buildings look three dimensional. Okay, so as you're looking at this, you're going to be able to like, if you move your fingers around your mouse, you're gonna be like, what am I looking at? Don't be overwhelmed. It's actually kind of interesting. As you start building, this would be like the 2D level, like your X and Y axis, it'll be everything will be flat. But then in order to make it scale up, I'll show you how to do that. To get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna ignore the bars on the right hand side over here. And I'm just gonna focus on this bar over here on the left. I'm going to go to this little rectangular shape with a diagonal line going through it and it's going to allow me to start making my own shapes. What I'll start doing is drawing the parking lot for my model. Okay, So if I was building this, this is what it would look like. I'd be able to change the material and surface if I wanted to. I will soon, but the first thing that I want to do is draw the ske the skeletons of my four different buildings. So this one I'll make like this. Uh, this one I'll have, I'll start here, and then I'll kind of just build my rectangle this way. And again, I'm just kind of building this with by moving my fingers along the mouse after I click on my mouse. And so that way I'll have uh, three rectangular buildings. And let's just go over here. It also gives me the option of even doing like a pentagon sorry, a polygon, where I can kind of tell it what I want it to draw. I'll make it a little shorter here. And then let's try to move it. I'll undo that. Okay, if you want to undo something, just go up here to the arrow on the left. But let's just say I want something that's kind of an interesting shape. Depending on how long I want it, it'll adjust it. And then I'll hit click. All right, so now I have the skeletons of my buildings. What I want to do is now raise them up. So what I'll do is I'll go to this arrow jutting out from the ground. I'll click on the very top, and I should have this little symbol here that you can see with my mouse. And then whenever I go over here, I can tell it by moving my mouse up and clicking, hey, this is how tall I want my building. So I can have buildings that look like that. I can have a little polygon building like that. So maybe it's like a fun little architectural design that I've come up with. And then I have other buildings that look like this, maybe a little shorter, not as tall, and then maybe that another that's a little longer that way. All right, so now that I've started to design my buildings, you can see that as I move my mouse around, I, if I also want to just move around, I can either go up to the mouse over here, or I can go down here and just kind of pick the hand and it allows me to kind of move up and down. Now that I have everything that I want, I can go through and start playing with the textures of how things look. So now that I've got my four buildings designed, I can go here to where I you see materials. On the right hand side, it's this uh, cubish looking icon with some interesting five. Well, it looks like what looks like a five sided die. Not gonna lie. And when I click it, it take it might take a second to load. But what I can do is I can look up various surfaces that I actually want to add to my buildings. So if I want a brick building, I can just click the brick and then I can hit it on all, all sides of my building. So then that way the building starts to take some kind of color or shape. And so then that way I'd, uh, where I would have one building completed with brick. If I wanted to find asphalt, I could just go up here to where it says search the browse with the magnifying glass and the brick. And I can do asphalt and concrete. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of other different areas you can actually layer in. Let's just do it. Say I want to do asphalt. And so that way, here's the little gravel part. Or sorry, here's like the parking lot. Here's the design from underneath. If I was to like look up. And then if I wanted to, let's say I want to add... Um, Let's say I want to add like my name of my businesses. What I can do is I can exit out of here by going up here to the top right hand side. And then when I go to the same building icon originally where I wanted, if I go to this A, it says face 3D text. I'm sorry, just 3D text. What I can do is where I have my cursor, I can just put the name. So let's say I put uh, Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
and then I can tell that how big I want it. So let's say height, let's go 10, 10 feet. Um, and then I can change the font. I can I can change how wide it pops out. And so when it is created, what I can do is then decide where do I want this. All right, boom. And so now I have one of my businesses is labeled. I can add in further windows if I like by going back to materials, going over to glass and mirrors. No, let's not do that one. Ah, it changed my entire outcome, but I'll just hit undo. So as you uh, start designing this project, I've just showed you the basics of how to start doing this, uh, manipulating the software. When you get fully done and you are satisfied with your product, you can always ask me, hey, is this good? Um, or would you, like Sanders, what do you, would you want to add any feedback on how this looks? But when you get done, you need to have four businesses that you would that would look the exact same as if you were building the project by hand. Um, what you would do is then take a screenshot of on your Chromebook and turn the screenshot into Canvas. Uh, try to get several angles here. I've had people turn it up to five different screenshots, but that way that they're don't, they're uh, they're saying, hey, you have you have multiple angles in which to examine the 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 full on product, and you could see what everything looks like when you get done. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, there are also tutorials uh, available online. Let me know if you find out something cool, and I can use it for our next tutorial. Have a good one. Please know you're appreciated.